Hey guys, CJ and on YouTube here. I'm here to show you guys how to use an app called World Painter. This is an app where basically you draw your own Minecraft maps. Paige, really? Can you please close the door? Alright, sorry. Uh it's cow go as well. Paige, really? I'm recording right now. I'm recording right now. And I'm actually going to upload this to YouTube. So. What? Yeah, say hello to my little friend, the camera. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, God, that was, so... that was pretty hilarious. I have to admit, that was one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. Oh man, that was funny as heck. <laughs> oh man. What a perfect way to start the video. Um, anyways guys, what I'm currently doing right now is I'm using this tool that looks like a triangle. That actually allows me to raise the landscape. This is currently a Minecraft map, right? So I'm gonna create little hills here and just dot the landscape with hills. I'm actually able to export this thing as a proper YouTube um, world. Like as a proper, um, sorry not a YouTube world, as a proper, like, Minecraft world. So I can actually create my own, like, extreme hills biomes if I wanted to. So I'm just going to create, like, as a bunch of really big mountain ranges, and I'm just going to make, like, a really huge mountain at the very edge of the world, right about here. Just, I'm going to make it 255 feet high. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to... You can just hear somebody yelling ming 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 in the background. That's the weirdest thing ever. I, I seriously hate that song. Alright, so that's... I'm just making a bunch of really cool looking hills just dotting the landscape with them. So, just making them here and there. Oh, jeez. I'm like blocking off entire land bridges here. Uh, I'm gonna have to flood certain parts of this, so right here, right here, for example, or I'll just do that. Uh, oh god, what have I done? What have I done? Oh my god, undo. <laughs> Alright. Um, cancel. Paige, really? I'm still recording. Because this is a video on how to do something called World Painter. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I know, you, you're you embarrassed. Don't recommend it. this to any of my friends. I will. I will Don't you worry. I will recommend it to everybody on Facebook. Oh my god. I'm kidding around. Kidding around, Paige. <sighs> you gotta love my sister. But yeah, right now I'm currently just making sort of a little island archipelago, or whatever that that's called. Um, just making small lava areas here and there. That I'm going to make, for example, I'm going to cover this entire train right in here with obsidian, right? So that means that this entire area has obsidian planes everywhere. I'm going to make a single little, le little nether area right here. Uh, can I zoom out of my world? Oh wow, that's about the exact extent of the world. Okay, I'm gonna do something here and actually do add slash remove tiles. This allows me to add slash remove chunks, like entire chunks of the world. So if I go back out, select all tiles. Uh... Zoom out. How like do I zoom out? There we go. Now I'm going to add tiles here. This is going to add 95 new chunks. So this is going to make a fairly large world. Now, I'm going to probably use these things in the couple YouTube videos or tutorials that I do. But 
Right now, I'm just sort of making up for the fact that I've lo that I got rid of all the anodyne vi videos, and it just so happened to cancel out my like my decision to uh, even do that video and the fr like. Oh, sorry, cancel, 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 because that's all lava. That'd be a lot of lava. Um, it sort of like it didn't upload the second episode again, and I'm trying to upload a few more episodes over time. So yeah, what I'm currently doing right now is just sort of to make up for it. Even though it's only one video, I'm going to be posting a couple more over the next couple weeks. Okay. Why, why am I doing this? Un, un, undo. Undo. Okay. Fill this entire area. Oh wow, pipe. A pump. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm watching a show called Rick's Restorations or something like that. Oh, crap. Undo that. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, oh, that's kind of cool. Look how that looks. See, so yeah, what I'm currently doing right now is I'm just working on making the world as watery as possible. Cancel. Okay, this is going to be really bad. Um, okay, this is weird. I've never done this before. I think that maybe I may have crashed the system. Uh, I'll be back once. I, oh, never mind. Wow, that 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 just happened. Uh, flooding, 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 flooding. No, I'm gonna just gonna press cancel. Crap. Why does this thing not cancel? Okay, <laughs> undo that. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, so so I'm just gonna maybe now work on doing like a frost layer, for example. Um, or at least doing a frost... Oh, come on, cancel. I'm gonna try and do like a frost biome here, so that adds like snow everywhere. So then this is gonna like freeze over all the water and stuff, and it's kind of cool. I quite like the frost biomes. They're cool, they add a lot of snow and stuff. And it just looks overall really cool. And then you can add like caverns here, so I'm gonna do resources in a certain area. All over here. Um, this is gonna be a resource rich area. Um, got a resource rich area over here. Uh, gonna drain all the lava here. There we go. Drain in all the lava. Uh, this is this was just sort of a way to show you guys that this actually is how you do it. This is how we do. <laughs> all right, so just change the train back into grass. It's probably never going to be totally perfect from that, but hey, it's a tutorial. It's better than nothing. And so basically what I'm currently doing right here, guys, is I'm just adding, I am just sort of deleting all the um, obsidian here, turning it all back into grass, but I guess there's just going to be certain chunks in this area. It's just going to be nothing but grass, it's only grass. So I'm just going to have to put up with it, I guess. Is there pixels too small for even I to see? So I'm just going to create more hills and stuff. So right in here, for example, make the hill system grow a little bit more. So that makes bigger mountains, bigger mountain ranges, I guess. And then I'm going to add, like, caverns all over. I can even find the cavern maker, populate. I'm not going to make it populate anything. Well, sort of. Make it populate here and there. 
and then make it populate here, make it populate here, here, and here. I'm gonna add caverns all along here. Now this is gonna take probably about 20 minutes before this all uploads. So I'm just gonna dot this landscape of caverns and chasms. So just make chasms all over here. So this map is gonna be really quite cool looking. God, this looks so weird. And then I'm gonna add a dedacious here then. So I'm just gonna add a dedacious zone. Uh here, 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 here. Then I'm gonna add how about jungle on these islands in the middle of over here. This is all gonna be like a jungle island area. It's gonna be like jungle trees inside the water and stuff. Alright, jungle trees everywhere. Uh, okay, and then yeah, let's just do like, how about pine trees over inside this zone? And then swamp. What's void? I, I don't know. Anyways, that's going to be about it. Um, I'll pause for now, and then I'll come back when the world's been generated. Okay, guys, so, yep, 16 minutes later. Um, I have fi finally ex- I, It's finally finished exporting. So I'm just going into Minecraft to load up the world. And, yeah. Uh, Mojang... Boeing or whatever that it's called. Jeez, it's so laggy. I, I honestly cannot play Minecraft on this. Okay, so it's called Generated World for some reason. And apparently there are fire trucks and stuff and TV blaring out right beside me. Just letting you guys know so that you don't like ask why there's a bunch of noise going on outside. But Right now it's just loading the train, it's just generating the world. Uh, okay then, let's see what we have created. I mean, it's at the actual world. Um, I mean, it's that the actual entire world gets populated as in hundreds of mobs. Which is going to be pretty dang cool. Um, okay, cool. So I apparently have landed inside of a plains in the middle of nowhere. So this is interesting for a spawn point. Where am I? Importantly, what the heck is going on here? But yeah, you can immediately see that the generation's really different. Like there's speckles of like netherrack from where I tried to clean up all that. Uh trees everywhere, and there's horses and stuff generating everywhere. So apparently, more world to generate here. Also playing Grawl Online while waiting for this. So, yeah. Alright, are you going to generate Minecraft? Just gonna have to pause. Uh, did that do anything? No, it didn't. Uh, but like, yeah, um, the generation in this is very much di um, diff different from the usual sort of generation and the fact that it generates huge, huge, really deep holes like this. That's like filled with everything. This is actually... 
whenever your character goes all of a sudden really dark because of this, that means that this is ungenerated terrain. So I'm gonna have to pause right here, and it's gonna come back. Yep, there we go. Please work. But yeah, um, it just generates lots of really cool terrain, and yeah, give it a shot, download it, uh, tell me what, I right, go ahead and try and create your own worlds with this, and tell me what you think in the comments section below, um, even though below is not technically right here, um, below is away from here, I guess, um, I'm just up. Uh, for all you guys know, I'm just sort of a face on the screen, but yeah. Um, chest of goodies. That's what it is. Huh? Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm not gonna really um, just trail off again. Uh, I was CJ Hyten on YouTube, and thanks for watching. Been on YouTube, sign off. Peace. Beep.